Hi, today's tech tip is about mine planning and some of the things to look out for when preparing a plan, whether it's for a technical report, an operational plan, or a permit application. My name is Danny Tomer, I'm the regional manager here in North America for Snow and Uptero. Many of the plans I've reviewed over the years have been utilizing pit optimization and good practices, such as allowing for additional ramp widths if the equipment changes, for instance and allowing additional space for catch berms, drain ditches, and you know requiring for utilities. However, I've also noticed that many mine planners overlook something critical to ensure the mine plan is restricted to the permit boundary or proper release boundary. Pit crests, as well as stockpiles and other key features need to adhere to this boundary. An easy way to ensure that the pit and stockpiles are within the lease boundary is to use GIS, Geographic Information Systems, and overlay uh, images, like photogra photographic images of your property, along with your pit design, your stockpiles and whatnot, uh, and, and the property boundaries, public roadways, waterways, other things like that, that are constraints, and make sure that everything fits within that property boundary. I hope you enjoy this tech tip. Please subscribe for more. Bye now.